what's bigger than that, Facebook has a hostage. <laughs> and then it's, Okay, so today is going to be my first ever chest workout. I want this to be higher up. I'm not too thrilled because I feel like it's going to be painful, but we're going to get through it. Kevin's going to help me out. Yeah, it's just do like a decline bench and like dumbbells and stuff. I can't do push-ups for obvious reasons. Like I just can't. Doesn't really work with my obvious reasons. Kayla's <laughs> okay, first day doing chest. So we're gonna go head over to Big Five. I want to get a actual weightlifting belt. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I'm a huge fan of waist trainers. But you're you're stomping on somebody. Oh, but um. Uh, I want to get something for like actual lifting. I do wear my waist trainers uh, pretty much for every workout or I have been. And for this prep, I want to switch it up. I want to stick to waist trainers only for cardio and when I do abs. And then um, I see a lot of the pros wearing belts for like lifting and doing like, you know, like uh, straight leg deadlifts and like for chest days and stuff. So I'm going to try it out. And uh, Kevin needs to pick up a few things for you need it. From Big Five? Yeah. You need anything? No, I'll see what they have, see what I can buy. Kevin will probably <laughs> find something that he needs. <laughs> okay, so Kevin's I. Kevin's driving now. <laughs> Kevin's driving again. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys when we get there. So Kevin has a scar on his leg from this parking lot. So, like two years ago, I was here at this Big Five, probably buying the same belt I bought like last time I was here. And uh, I have this huge scar on my leg, and it's huge in my shin. And I got it here in this parking lot. Because I got out of my car, I closed the door, locked it, and as I was walking towards the door, I kicked the shit out of this trailer, and it really fucking hurt. And then I walked inside, I was like, oh, that fucking hurt. I walked inside, and then I was like, uh, I felt blood seeping down my leg, and I was like, hella blood. And so I just like, hella... Show the scar. I, I got stitches. Now I'm not going to roll up my leggings, they're going to stretch out and make my... Pixar cabinet. didn't happen. Bitch. <laughs> Big five. Alright, guys. Just got a little belt for Kayla. It's a little wimpy ass one. Wimpy? But, uh, <laughs> it's a size small. It's probably like a size smaller than mine. We're gonna try it on. It's hella stiff, but it's gonna loosen up and like. Wait, wait, make it fast. Make it fast? Yeah, boil it in hot water. Yeah. I usually wear the belt during my whole workout. Do you think you can do that? And then when you put when you do cardio and abs, you just put your waist trainer on. Okay, this is good. I'll do it with you since I got a waist trainer too. God, this thing hurts. We have some news, kind of like big events we got planned later this year. We are competing in July. We have our eyes on a national show, the USA is in Vegas. That is what we're working on, and in doing that, we've hired coaches. So, um. So, this time around, I decided to go and hire Body Bio. I switched my coaches only because of what I, I'm very picky, and um, I know how my body responds, how my body works, and I kind of have an idea of what I need from a support system to get me to that pro card, to get me to and on that national stage successfully. And I loved all. Uh, I loved my coach in the past who uh, coached me through Vegas, coached me through San Jose. Uh, Vegas is a special place for me because that was my first show, and I did win overall at that show. So it's kind of like um, nostalgic to get back up there and really rock that stage. But so this time around, I'm hiring Body by O. His uh, instruction for co competition prep is fits my lifestyle and fits what I'm really looking for. I don't like flexible dieting or if it fits my macros kind of thing. I like really strict, um, this is what you eat, this is what you can't eat, this is your calories, like uh, six meals a day, timing, uh, fasting, all that is just um, having that like really strict schedule is something that I like to be held accountable to just for my own self progression because I like knowing when I go, like when I go into that, uh, when I go on that stage, like I did exactly what I should have been doing, and I trust the process. I trust this coach, and um, I, the results I have is 
and I don't want to second guess myself. So that's why I went with Bobby Barrio because he kind of gives me that, um, what I'm looking for. Right. And we both did compete last year in two different shows. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos from about a year ago, I did Gov Cup. And I took second and then also took a second in my other show, which was in June. I had two different coaches. I had cuts the first show. And I like my results, in my opinion. I think my results for the first show were a lot better than my second show. However, um, just different coaches. One was local, so I thought that would help me out. But Cuts, um, his name is Ariel. And he uh, he did my diet really well. He did training. He actually just opened up a training facility in the Bay Area. So we might take you guys along for that in another video. Um, but it's important to find the right match for you. Um, Cuts' diet worked well for me. The other diet I had for my other coach, I didn't really necessarily like. It's kind of hard to follow. And like, um, training was just like, it just, I think everything was so much better the first time around. So that's why I went back to Cuts. He has a lot of pros that he uh, coaches, which I follow and, you know, look up to. So my, obviously our goal is, next goal is to become pros. And then after pros, you know, we're going to be like, what's next? So we're headed to, we want to head to the Olympic stage eventually or the Arnold stage. Or, you know, just progress. As long as we have that progression, that's all we want. Um, if you if you guys are competing now and if you do have a coach that you just feel like you know you're not uh, you don't have a hundred percent trust in or there's a little bit of like kind of doubt if that's okay like you you need to look out for yourself it's okay to be selfish because uh, in the long run like what you want out of competing is either you're, if you're just doing it just to do it then you know that's that's okay too but if you're doing this for like the longevity to really get that pro card like you have your eyes on the Olympia stage. Then, like you need to feel 110 percent confident in the coach that you have and the process that you're taking because it is such a huge commitment so if you feel like you want to change coaches like you don't feel guilty about it like you're looking out for you so the, like this is your time like this is your decision like you this is you're hiring who you feel will give you the best results right and it's honestly it's a lifestyle getting to um just even just changing your body and like following a diet you know a lot of people can follow a diet for two weeks work out for two weeks but when you do it for 16 weeks or 14 weeks or 12 weeks or even 10 weeks you know it takes a toll and you are gonna want to you know quit you are gonna want to like eat some days you don't feel like doing it and that's normal it happens to everybody but I mean obviously it takes a strong mindset to endure those long like all those weeks up until the show so it's always I think a very valuable resource to have by your side as a coach extra set of eyes you know you are gonna second guess yourself, like, am I on the right track? Should I be doing this? What should I do? Like, should I do this or this? You know, a coach has the experience, or well, I hope they do, have the experience, so you know, guide you in the right direction. Just be that extra set of eyes, give you that reassurance, so you know you're on the right direction. And if you don't, you know, you may know your body, but then your coach thinks something else, you know? You figure it out, you experiment. That's what you gotta do with anything, not just, you know, fitness, but anything you guys wanna pursue. It's, so. Yeah, it's good to have that objective. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so um, it's it's a mindset game as well as, you know, a physical fitness game. So we wanna encourage you guys, you know, challenge yourselves and, you know, put your foot in the water and see how it is, experiment, and uh, just try to improve every single day, so. Yeah, so it's cheesy, but yeah. No, it's true though. <laughs> yeah. That was really well said, what you said earlier. Thank you. Um, so with like mindset with competing, you guys, if you follow us on Instagram, you know like fitness is just fit, like is our life. We're always in the gym. We do training. Um, we have like a good handful of clients right now and we love it. Like everything mm -hmm. about just We like, were able to, you know, get out of nightclub last year, which was oh, a yeah. big change for us. If you guys don't know that already. Huge. We worked in nightclubs, but um, this is the year we've been, you know, trying to brand ourselves and just do our own thing. Dude, we were doing what makes us happy, and you know, we struggled for a little while, but it was worth it. It, it was hard, but we worked things out. We kind of kept our head down. We revamped, you know, our little business website and stuff, and promoted more. And just, you know, we we did us. We we did what we were comfortable doing. Go to the gym every day. We looked good. We took photos. You know, we promoted ourselves, marketed ourselves, even though we. We probably still do that even if we didn't have a fitness business. We'd still be putting out stuff for people to follow along. But, you know, we have a good set of clients and we're just keeping the momentum going. And I, we feel like with competing, you know, it'll just, you know, enhance everything and just make everything all worth it. Definitely. With competing, I think uh, this time around, I want to get the so much better content. Yeah. I feel like I last <laughs> two competitions... I was going through my phone and I couldn't really find photos to compare yeah. to and 
You know, this That's time, thing. yeah. So this time, I just feel like I have a way better direction. Um, purpose. Right, and like I just feel so much more confident about mm -hmm. like sharing this whole process with you guys, and you know I'm really excited to be a part of like the Body by O team, and you're back on like cuts team. Yeah, he's yeah. a phenomenal coach, and I've heard like before I even um hurt. Before I even started coaching with them, Kayla told me about him. I've heard about him from other people too. So, uh, and another thing I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, you know, accountability and just being real with yourself. Because you know, we're documenting this whole process, but you know, last prep we didn't really show like the before pictures. But honestly, my mindset is like right now. It's like I feel as if the before pictures are are just as important, if not more important than the after photos because yeah. you know where you're starting you're exactly like this is this is it this is the real deal this is who I am and this is exactly what I need to change it instead of being you know not fake but kind of like face your fears face your fears and you know put out the real you you don't want to be hiding behind you know a bunch of lies you tell yourself like oh I look good I can't go eat this I look it's fine let's go out tonight or whatever you know you have to face your fears and like if you really want something you gotta be real with yourself so that's when you take the before pictures and then guess what if you keep your head down you know what you're doing you stay real to yourself and 10 12 weeks see where you're at that's like the biggest thing is like having that um comparison yeah comparison and just that mindset just to be upfront with everything you know you gotta be upfront with your coaches you gotta be upfront with yourself yeah and you know exactly what you're like you know when you commit to yourself, when you commit to a better goal or have a bigger purpose, you you have the courage to make the right decisions even when no one's watching. So you know if that piece of cake is really gonna fuck you up or not. You know exactly if going out tonight is really the best decision or to maybe you should stay home and cook food. Like you know exactly what you need to do and that's like that happens when you commit to yourself. And that's hard to do. It is hard to do, but once you can do that, everything else is so much easier. Yeah. You have to put yourself nice. first. Mm -hmm. um, so prep officially started for me yesterday. Uh, we're, per, we're planning on doing a 10 week off season. And then after this little off season, we're gonna see where my body's at. We might do a show prior to nationals as a warm up. Um, we'll just have to see how my body responds. So we'll keep you guys updated with that. And then when do you start cuts? Start cuts and um, start prepping in about a week or so. So I will keep you guys updated through Instagram at Kevin no Fit and hers is Kayla Priscilla. But um, my coach is on vacation; it's getting back soon. But we're starting prep soon. My body is relatively lean. I stay, I stay relatively lean year round, one in five, two hundred. But um, once I actually start prep, I'll be eating more calories, be doing more cardio, and training accordingly. So it's a lot easier to see how my body responds, even though I'm already like ten percent, like honestly nine percent body fat. That was eight. That was eight point eight the other day. Eight point eight percent body fat. Um, but you know, I still know like when to eat my carbs and stuff, so I kind of relatively stay full. But I sit around 195, 200. So prep for me, it's about kind of easing to it. I might have to pull up a little bit, but we'll see where everything takes us. Yeah. All right, bye guys. <laughs>